Joy, the emotion of great pleasure and happiness. You can read the definition, or you can witness it firsthand. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh. I knew that we made the reward school list. Here, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just so excited. I, I can't. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish today. I'm so that excited. That was Middle College High's principal, Dosha Jennerette Walker's um, reaction got, to the news parents. that her school was the only school in Shelby County to earn reward status for both progress and performance, and one of only 17 in Tennessee. That's huge. That's huge for us. You know, sometimes I think because we're such a unique learning environment. We forget about things like this and celebrating them with our staff. And I just really want them to know how proud I am of all of the hard work that they did. There are two categories of reward status schools. Highest progress schools are those that have high levels of student growth measured using their median student growth percentiles over time. Highest performing schools are the highest performing in the state in terms of school-wide proficiency, subgroup proficiency, and graduation rates. Either is a significant accomplishment. Achieving both distinctions puts a school in rarefied air. But then, Middle College High is a different type of school to begin with. What we do is we have a partnership with Christian Brothers University. That allows our students to participate in college level courses in the 11th and 12th grade. So we have a really intensive program in our 9th and 10th grade to make sure that they're ready to not only participate in those courses, but participate them and do well. Located directly across Central Avenue from Christian Brothers University, Middle College High has a different feel to it. Yes, like every other high school in the district, it has its athletic programs and extracurricular activities. But it is the curriculars that are the focus here. The student body, which is smaller than most SCS high schools, comes from all over the district. Walking through the hallways, you can almost feel the intensity level of students and teachers. When you walk in the building, I think the culture is just palpable. It's very obvious that the focus is on student learning from the administration and the initiatives and the culture they've set to the teachers and the collaborative culture that we have down to the students um, from how they walk in the hallways to how they handle themselves in classroom discussions. It truly is a joy to see um, it all in action every day. I've worked in um, different schools, different districts um, before, and here the challenge is greater. So after the hard work that you put in as a teacher, now the challenge is greater to move kids to a different level than you've been asked to move them to before. This is very intense academically. It is very intense academically. Even when you come to this school, you know that you are going to be challenged. There is no question about it. You will be challenged. The phrase college and career ready is sometimes hard to define but not here. Here the goals are very specific. The goal is to take classes at Christian Brothers by 11th grade, if not taking dual enrollment courses here. Um, we really have to push students early. So our requirements have to be, we have to set high expectations. The requirements have to be um, you know, pretty rigid so that when they go to um, a college campus in 11th grade, they're ready for the expectation there. Um, as you know, when you go to a university, um, the syllabus is set in stone, the expectations are set in stone, and either you follow them or you don't. I feel like middle college has changed my view on college, actually. Like, I feel if I had have attended another high school, I wouldn't be so college ready. I wouldn't have wanted to start taking the ACT in the 10th grade. So it's really changed my perspective on college and just being here it's motivated me to you know want to do better and want to do better because my middle school it wasn't as intense in the curriculum as middle college is so when I got here I was I had to step my game up I was like I have to get where the rest of the kids are. To accomplish that teachers and administration utilize any strategy that can provide student progress. Uh, we truly collaborate. I'm never alone in any decision I make. Um, from the test we create together to the lesson plans, um, literally down to I'm teaching this lesson on two-step equations and they just keep getting stuck at this one point. What's a strategy? What am I doing wrong? How do you approach this? You know, and learning from each other, learning from our colleagues. Um, for me personally, that has truly benefited me um, to not feel like I'm kind of an island by myself trying to figure out all the answers to everything, um, but we really can 
work together and those discussions are huge they really are to sit especially you know I've got a child who's struggling on this let's problem solve together you know what do you suggest what can we do um, so it's never these are my kids and those are yours but they're all our kids although middle college high was the only school in the district to achieve the dual reward list distinction 39 Shelby County schools in all made the reward list which is composed of the top 5% of schools in the state for either academic achievement or student growth. SCS has six more schools on the reward list than the combined legacy districts had a year ago.